What's up, people? Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88 here, and welcome to another deck profile. This time, I am going to be covering, um, a, a, um, a small update to the Monarch deck. Uh, not much has, uh, changed since the last update, except for maybe a few things. So, uh, without further ado, what do you say we get started, shall we? Okay, so, basically, uh, so basically we have the... Free Erebus, uh, the Underworld Monarch. Basically, everybody knows uh, what this deck is. I mean, there's plenty of videos on it. Um, free Ether, Free, free Adia. Uh, for my version, I'm running Free Caius and Free Fistalo, uh, Fistalos. Main reason for this is basically this deck is designed to punish the opponent's hand and punish the field uh, uh, by uh, banishing their cards. Essentially, this is a pretty much a banishment deck, essentially. Um, we also got here the free uh, Eidos, good for tribute summoning, of course. The two uh, Mithra, also good for tribute summoning, and allows you to tribute summon more, actually. Free Pantheism, thank God this card's back at free now. Now we can play the deck properly. <laughs> Free Tenacity, Free Frost Blast for the back row removal, Free Monarch Storm Forth just to get rid of those pesky uh, monsters that just don't want to leave the field. I'm looking at you, Cyber Dragon Infinity. Uh, two copies of Return of the Monarchs, three copies of Dominion of the True Monarchs. Uh, I mean, Domain, sorry. And three copies of uh, Prime Monarch. So, basically, um,. Basically, how my how this deck is supposed to work is essentially, if you're lucky enough, if you're lucky enough and you have not had a normal summon, um, if you haven't had a normal summon on on your turn, um, you can essentially um, you can you can essentially special summon Mifra. Your, to your opponent will get a token, but that won't even matter. You tribute the Mithra for either Pastalos or Caius, one or the other. Or if you have Domain on the field, tribute off the Mithra for either uh, for, um, Erebus or Ether, one of those two as well. Uh, basically, if you, go, if you use Ether... It, it's going to get a little interesting from there on out. You would summon Ether, bring out Erebus like you usually do, but then since but then Mifra is going to give you an extra tribute summon, essentially. So you'll be able to tribute summon another time. So a so what you can then do is since you have a tribute summon monster, say you have another copy of Erebus in your hand. You can tribute off the Erebus that you have on your field to tribute some of the Erebus from your hand and then just shenanigan your way from there, essentially. Um, Return of the Monarchs. I have this in here, essentially, um, just so I can get more cards, essentially. That goes for Pantheism, Tenacity. They're no-brainers. No-brainers at all. But no, um, basically this deck, the way I have it designed, is essentially supposed to stop meta decks. This is the way I designed it, um, is to stop pretty much any meta deck in its tracks. Um, I don't know about the newer meta decks, but the older meta decks, you know, like Cyber Dragon, um, basically stuff from back in the day that are still roaming around... This deck is built to stop them. Um, so that's pretty much how this deck works. But anyway, that is pretty much my take on... on that is pretty much my take on um, domain, the Domain Monarch deck. No extra deck. Not needed for my build. I just don't... I just choose not to have one. But anywho, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And until next time... This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master 88 saying see you later.